Hello, hello. I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. I'm Jessica, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be making the Nuga Convertible Hip Bag by K. Dill Handmade. You can make this bag into a sling or a wristlet if you'd like to. Today, we're gonna to be making it out of jelly vinyl and clear printed vinyl here that is so cute. Um, it's very spring colored, I love that. I have made one already using uh, clear vinyl and jelly vinyl. It came out so good. It was so fun to make. I love the back pocket here. Uh, my gigantic phone fits in here, which is perfect. It has a huge zip pocket here for all of your needs. And then I did make another one out of waxed canvas here and waterproof canvas as well. This came out so pretty. I love the colors black and yellow together. I love the big pocket, the little zipper pocket. It came out so good, I love this. If you'd like to sew along, go ahead and grab your pattern. The link is down below in the description and also go ahead and grab your materials and let's get started. Since we are using jelly vinyl today, I'm gonna be only using uh, two zippers. I've got the larger one for the main zipper at the top and then the smaller one, this is for the side panel. I've got two cuts for the front and two cuts for the back. You won't need any other panel pieces if you're doing vinyl, uh, jelly vinyl. And then I've got my one by six inch ruler. I've got overlays, these are to cover the zippers. And then I've got two overlays to go with those triangular edges on the back of the panel. I've got my zippered, a zipper end tags, the strap anchor here, zipper tabs, the ring connectors, and then I've got my triangle rings, a bag tag, and then I've got, um, uh, I went ahead and pre-made my strap here. I'm using one inch webbing. So I think what I'm gonna do is start off with prepping the zippers. For the larger zipper, I am going to do it a little bit differently than what it says in the pattern. I'm going to take two zipper end tabs and I'm going to fold them in half. And then I'm going to place the zipper end right inside this fold. And I'll clip those together. And do the same thing on the other side, folding this in half. I'm placing the zipper end into this fold. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew the bottom at an eighth inch seam allowance. Make sure you're catching both sides. Um, if not, you can always go and make another row of stitching. There's this one done. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the zipper tabs and I'm going to place one on the bottom and I'm going to match up the edges and I'm gonna take another one and place it right on top. So we have a, a sandwich here. And you'll want to do this for both sides. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew this at a quarter inch seam allowance on both sides. Okay, unclip everything and now we're going to take both of these tabs and we're going to place them together like this. And now we will sew at an eighth of an inch seam allowance right along this edge. We'll do this for both sides. And don't worry about those little threads. We're gonna singe those little guys right off. Now you wanna take a lighter and just kinda gently boop these little ends here. Since we're using jelly vinyl and clear vinyl, you definitely want to take care of these little threads here. All right, zipper tabs, all done. 
Now that the zipper tabs are all done, we're gonna go ahead and work on strap anchors and then our ring connectors. What we're gonna do with these squares is we're going to go from corner to corner and cut out a triangle. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take, I'm gonna use webbing for this, and go ahead and insert your webbing into your D-ring or triangle ring, whatever hardware you're using. Clip this together, set that aside, go ahead and grab the other one. Okay. We're gonna take one of these triangles and I'm going to lay it like, like this so that I've got the straight edges facing over in my direction. I'm going to take my triangle ring and I'm gonna put it over about half an inch over the edge here. There we go. And also about half an inch over. That looks good. I'll go ahead and clip this down and we'll do the same for the other one. So like I said, I like it to have the straight lines kind of in my direction, the angle facing over this way. I'm putting this down over half an inch, overhanging a half an inch or so. And then, yeah, that looks good. So now we will go ahead and baste this down. Okay, now we'll take the other half of the triangles and lay them right on top like this. Clip them together. And we're going to sew the straight edges at a quarter inch seam allowance. Don't sew the angled edge. We're gonna leave that open because we're gonna turn this through. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna trim these corners. I do like to trim these corners just a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is flip these out, right sides out. Now that those are done, we'll set them aside. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the back panels. Um, I did forget to top stitch our anchors here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then you'll need to have two panels and then I've got two overlays. You're definitely gonna need some double-sided tape, a ruler, tons of clips, and then you'll need these. So I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch these real quick. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to grab the top panel with these two overlays. I'm going to put some double-sided tape on the center of the overlays. And now you're going to measure at the top. You're gonna to go from the top four inches and measure and then down from the top here and measure four inches. And you'll do that for both sides. Okay, so what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna take our ruler and we're going to place it at one edge where you made the mark down to your other edge. So from the top down here, and then you're going to trim off this triangle. All right. And then you're gonna do that for the other side. This is what you should have right now. Now we're gonna take these overlays. I'm going to peel off the paper. I'm going to place it right over the edge of this. 
diagonal line here. And I'm going to do that for the other side as well. What we're going to do is we're going to sew along each edge at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. I went ahead and trimmed the edges here and also singed the tails of my thread. I added my bag tag here, which looks a little wonky, but that's okay, I'm okay with that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other panel and set this panel on top, matching the edges. I'm gonna clip them together. And I'm going to go ahead and baste this down from this edge down at the bottom and up this edge. Here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put these bad boys on. So you want to grab your ruler and some kind of marking tool. I'm going to use a marking tool for vinyl. You're gonna to go to the top edge and mark three quarters of an inch from the top, like so, on both sides. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our anchors and we want to have them up like this. So your, your D ring, your triangle ring, rectangle ring, whatever it is you're using needs to be facing up this way. And you want to match the corner with this mark you just made and clip it together. Okay, you're going to do the same for the other side. Again, you want your, your, um, your ring to be facing this direction. You want the top to be on the line you just made. Clip it together. And we are going to baste this down. And here is the back panel. Let's move on to the front panel. Let's work on the front panel. You'll need your zipper overlays, your zipper, and then the front panel is going to actually be cut into two pieces so you have room for the zipper. You'll want to refer to the pattern for that and then the back of the front panel. So let's go ahead and work on the zipper right now. I went ahead and marked the centers of both panels on the bottom and the top here and also the center of the zipper um, and I also put double-sided tape on the back of the overlays and on the back of the front panels. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lay the zipper up, right side up, and I'm going to remove the paper from the tape on the bottom panel. And I'm going to lay this right side up alongside the edge of the zipper matching the midpoints. Make sure it's as straight as you can get it. If it's not straight, that's okay. That's why we have an overlay that's going to cover it up and make it look nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna take off the paper and lay this right side up on top of the zipper matching that midpoint okay i'm gonna look at it over here i need to move this just a little bit it is a little too low again i'm gonna match the midpoint here Go. 
zipper tabs down here are just a little crooked, but that's okay. It's still gonna work out in the end. Don't worry about that if yours is a little crooked too. It will be fine. All right, and now if you want to, you can base this down, which is what I'm gonna do. Go ahead and base this down. So let's go ahead and take your overlays here, peel off your paper. Sometimes the paper just doesn't want to come off. There we go. And then we'll lay this over the top where you just basted. Try to get it as centered as you can. Lining up the edges with the edges of the panels. Good. Okay, I'm gonna grab the other one and peel the paper off. We're gonna do the same thing on this, the bottom that you just basted. All right, now we're gonna sew each edge at an eighth of an inch seam allowance on both sides. So this is what you should have. I went ahead and trimmed down the zipper tabs here so that they match the edges. I do wanna give a little tip. Um, when you are cutting the front panel using jelly or clear vinyl, you'll want to make sure that you trim that when you cut this out of beginning to take off three quarters of an inch um, at the bottom um, or the whole size just just height wise because otherwise um, it's not gonna fit because you're you're adding more height to this because of the zipper. I hope that makes sense, but when you're cutting this out only using clear vinyl or jelly, you want to trim this um, three quarters of an inch um, shorter um, so that it fits right on top of your your panel. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to place this on top of the back of the front panel and we're gonna clip them together and we're going to baste all four edges. All right, there's the front panel all done. Next, we'll do the top zipper. All right, we are almost done with this bag. Okay, so we've got our overlays here. We have our tape, our zipper tape, and then we've got both panels. Um, I realized that I have not basted this down. I think I was just thinking um, in the original pattern, you do wait to base this down at a later step, but I'm gonna go ahead and just baste this down really quick, and then we'll go ahead and put our bag together. I already um, put all of my double-sided tape on these, and also I put it on the um, zipper tape, and then I made measurements on um, both panels, and what you'll wanna do is make a measurement three quarters of an inch at the top 
on each side. So from the outer part, you'll do three quarters of an inch in on both panels. This is to place the zipper. I also went ahead and made a um, center mark on the zipper on both sides. And also I made little tiny snips in the center of both panels so that we make sure that they are lining up accurately and right in the center. So let me go baste this down really, really quickly. You wanna make sure that you are back stitching up here because you will be using these pockets a lot. I'm gonna start off with the front panel first. I believe I put uh, my zipper on incorrectly on the first one. It's just the opposite direction, which I don't mind. It's fine, um, but I do want it to go um, from closing left and opening to the right. So I do prefer it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my tape on the bottom of the zipper tape and I'm gonna lay it face up and I'm going to take the front panel and I'm going to lay this right side up. So wrong side down on the zipper tape. I'm going to make sure that I center this on the center mark that I have made. And it is a little, my panel is a little bubbly, but it will work itself out in the end once we put the bag together. My first one was the same way and it ended up fine. So don't worry if yours ends up a little bubbly, it will be all right. I'll just kind of straighten this out a little bit. Okay, that looks good. I will end up basting this on, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the other panel on before I get this basted so I can do them at the same, the same time. So go ahead and removing this tape here. All right, so I'm gonna lay, keep this face up and then I'm going to match up the midpoints right along this edge here where the tape is. I'm going to make it as straight as possible. There we go, this looks pretty good. My kid's calling me. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> make sure your D-rings, rectangle rings, triangle rings, whatever it is you're using here are out of the way so you don't accidentally bump those with your needle. Okay, let's go ahead and baste those down and I'm only sewing from the zipper tab to the other end of the zipper tab on both sides okay that looks great so now what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna put the overlays over where we just sewed the zipper on. You don't have to do this, but I do think it looks pretty nice. So I'll go ahead and take the paper off and lay these overlays down as straight as I can get them. Making sure that the edges line up as well down here and at the other end. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew an eighth of an inch on each side of each overlay. So every long edge, an eighth of an inch. Now, 
You want to go ahead and move your zipper towards the center. You want to move this zipper also towards the center. We don't want to hit any metal. You want to, I'm going to pull my triangle rings up out of the way. You can tape them down if you want, whatever is easiest for you. And what we're going to do is pull these panels right side together. And again, make sure those D rings and zipper pulls, everything's out of the way. And what you're going to do is you're going to line this up at the top here. And we are going to clip these edges and we are going to sew this together using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I forgot something. I always forget something. What I forgot to do is with this, um, you want to round the edges here. Uh, it's gonna make turning out the bag a little bit easier. Um, I am going to take the advice of the designer and make this circle down here at the bottom, the round edges a little bit wider. The one I did before was not as wide as this template here. Um, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and hopefully my edges will turn out a little bit better. And if it doesn't, that's okay. No big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew another row of stitching right outside of the line, the stitches that I just made. And now what we're going to do is we're going to trim off this excess here. Um, I'm actually going to use pinking shears for that, okay. I think it's easier if you have pinking shears or maybe if you cut snips into it. All right. You're welcome to trim any other edges that you see here. Just don't break any of those other stitches you just did. All right, it is time to turn this baby right side out. Um, if you want to grab a hair dryer, that might be easier. I may end up doing that. I had to do it on the other one, but I'm going to try this first and see how it goes. So you want to pull that zipper open and go ahead and pull everything right side out very carefully. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hope that you have so much fun making this bag. If you do make this bag, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you make. Hashtag Jessica Grace and Bacon. Um, if at any point you liked this video, please give it a like. Um, I would have greatly appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this marathon. Check out um, any one that you missed earlier or maybe continue watching uh, this afternoon. All right. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And um, we'll see you on the next one.